How are we doing everybody? We're here at the Survival Summit headquarters. I'm Nino from Survival Summit. Today we're actually going to be speaking a little bit about EMP protection and vehicles and what to do to prepare your vehicle in case of an EMP. So join us. We're going to go through some products that we have as well as some tips and tricks on how to get your vehicle prepared for the unexpected. So today we are going to be installing a Faraday Defense EMP vehicle protection kit um, on this 2018 Toyota Tundra. It's really simple to install. You have your trap, which actually get, connects to the battery. Pretty simple. And then you have your ferrites. So for the trap, you are just going to locate your vehicle's battery. Again, if you are not a qualified mechanic or you're afraid to do this, your mechanic can easily install this for you in a few minutes. But if you know your way around a wrench, you're going to connect the red to your positive lead of the battery right here on the terminal. And your black will go to the negative end of the battery. So what you want to do, obviously just loosen up the terminals, real simple. Just as a caution, you might lose your settings for your radio, but it's worth it to be protected. So we are just going to put that on there. Real simple, same thing. These aren't my sockets. there. And then obviously you would tighten it up and you would want to secure this either with a zip tie, a piece of tape, somewhere where it's not going to rattle around and be free from any parts of the components. And that's how you install a trap. Okay, so once you have your trap installed, your next step in the Faraday Defense EMP vehicle protection is your ferrites. So these are pretty simple. What you want to do is just locate your positive and negative main battery cables out of your battery and these actually just go and clip around them so on this vehicle your positive battery is located right here the cable you just go around and snip this now what you want to do is just get some tape just to secure it it's a little bit looser on this but it's made to fit multiple vehicles so we just put that there and then for your negative cable obviously it's coming right off the battery and you would just snake your ferrite around here clip it in place again use some tape or something to hold it in place. And they're installed. It's pretty simple. Now, what you can do is order extra ferrites. Some more modern vehicles do have more than one positive main battery cable. So what you wanna do is just look and see what your vehicle has. And that way you can order how many ferrites that you need to protect your vehicle. Pretty simple to install. We'll get everything buttoned up here and we'll give you a shot. So the last step in protecting your vehicle from an EMP is installing this last trap in a 12 volt cigarette lighter or power outlet in your vehicle. It's as simple as this and your vehicle is protected. And this is not my truck. It's actually the Survival Summit owners. So if I messed anything up, we're about to find out. Simple as that. And your vehicle's ready and prepared for an EMP if it should happen. All of the, everything that you see here will be available soon from the survivalsummit.com where you can pick it up and get your vehicle protected in case of an EMP.